Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NJBW Poodle Wrestle Review. I am your co-host, Andre C. Right over here is the Melball. Melball, how you doing this evening? I am doing great, Andre. It's been a weird weekend over here at Chateau Melball, but it is what it is. We does what we does. How are you doing, my friend? Doing good. Been working out, working, getting my, my workout re- regimen going. Get back in with my trainer tomorrow. You know, all the good stuff. Oh, Life's right. going good. Life's going good. Good times. Good times. Pain for everyone. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> good times. Good times. Yeah. But we, <laughs> we are here with a special edition of NJPW Poodle Rest Review because mm-hmm. it's not an NJPW Poodle Rest Review, it's a Noah. Put a wrestler review, ladies and gentlemen. Special, special. We are here to talk the Pro Wrestling Noah uh, 25th anniversary Naramichi Marafuji anniversary show. Uh, Mm -hmm. We're here to talk talk some Pro Wrestling Noah because it features Naramichi Marafuji versus my favorite, the man, the myth, the legend, Will Ospreay, baby. Yes. But before we do that, I want to thank each and every single one of you for joining us here on Noah Pudo Wrestling Review <laughs> and Andre and Melball Wrestling Talk because yes. we appreciate all the support you guys have given us, all the great comments mm-hmm. you dropped down in the comments below, all the great, all the great support, all the likes, all all, all the subscri- subscribes that keep growing, and we really do appreciate all of you for that. And mm-hmm. uh, don't forget, hit that notification bell because you, dro- you can find out when we drop. All these shows we're gonna be dropping because we'll be coming back with chop talk next week. So hit that notification bell. Ding dong. Hello. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Our boy, our boy Jason Rutledge is gonna be excited for we're coming back with chop talk next week. Yes, yes. I know he's gonna be excited for the next month's chop talk too. Mm-hmm. Because we'll be talking mm-hmm. about him a bunch in the next couple months, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get into it. We're going to talk some Pro Wrestling Noah, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. We are we are literally only talking the main event of this show because this is just a special edition because I want to talk Will Ospreay. Yes. I, and you're going to hear me talk a bunch over the next little bit because this, this was a 23-minute match and I took notes on pretty much everything. <laughs> yes. Take us into it, my friend. <laughs> so it this is... This is the Pro Wrestling Noah uh, event. Um, it is a Marafuji Marifu- 25th anniversary event. Uh, uh, he is at the start of the match. He comes out. He is presented with flowers from a representative from Noah's main sponsor. Mm-hmm. Um, Osprey comes out. He bows to Marafuji when he's being ring- when the ring announcer is calling him out. He actually bows to Marafuji at the start. Mm-hmm. Uh, on commentary, you got Stu Fol- Stuart Fulton and Mark Pickering. I actually really enjoyed them on this show. It was just it was nice to hear a different voice. I'm not used to hearing. Yeah, yeah, and and a very thick Irish accent. Loved it. Loved mm. it. Might have been might have been Scottish. I'm not very good at figuring out which dialect is what. No. So sorry if I offended you guys. But um, yeah, it, it was actually really nice because I could actually understand the accent really, really well. Usually I have a really hard problem understanding really, really thick European accents. This one, I was pretty good. I was really happy with that. Yeah, I, I really I, I really enjoyed the announcers on here. Mm-hmm. I really did. Um, so we are going to get into it, ladies and gents. Mm-hmm. Uh, they lock up early. Marafuji gets Osprey on the ropes, chops him very hard, and Osprey is just like, ah! You could, he's trying not to play to it, but he, just, yeah. he eventually has to go, ah! Uh, and he's selling the pain. Uh, they wrestle around, trading positions. He's trying to establish dominance. Osprey gets himself into the ropes to break the arm ringer of Marafuji. Lots of dodges. He's trying to hit like he's doing the same moves back and forth, like because like Osprey is. His offense, as he said in the video that preceded this match, it is very influenced by Naramichi Marafuji. Um, mm-hmm. It really is. Um, he is him. I think it's him, Kawada, and Misawa are probably the three you see most in Osprey's off- offense. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, Osprey starts landing shots. Marafuji knocks like as uh, Osprey goes for hit, handspring, handspring into the jumping spin kick thing that he does. Yeah. Marafuji drop kicks the arms let, having Will Osprey crash the floor. I don't think I've ever seen somebody break it like that. No. Like, no. I really... We haven't also seen someone who can keep up with Will Osprey as well as Marafuji. Yeah, I just I just love the way he broke that the handspring there. Looked mm-hmm. really good. Um, 
and he sort of goes to work on the arm, gets Osprey in the corner, hits the big chop. Osprey reverses Marafuji, gets him up top, chops him very hard, and Marafuji crumbles to the floor. Mm-hmm. Osprey goes out, whips Marif- Marafuji into the barricade on the floor before bringing him back in and getting the two count. But that crash to the floor looked brutal. Like yeah. how he, f- oh, like how he flipped no, over him. When- yeah. Osprey back in the ring hits the hard shot, dropping Marafuji. He avoids uh, Osprey avoids a drop kick. He stomps on Marafuji. Marafuji comes back with a cartwheel into a drop kick. Then Osprey get uh, gets Osprey in the corner, gets another hard chop and a back elbow, running back elbow. Uh, Marafuji sends Osprey to the apron. Then he hits the springboard drop kick, sending Osprey like literally Osprey is on one side on the apron. And Murafuji pops up in front of it, like springboards up right in front of Osprey, and then just jumps back and just kick, just like mule kicks him off the apron. Look like, like even like Stu and Mark are saying he's doing moves he doesn't normally do here. Like, well, you have to against Will Osprey. Mm-hmm. I just, I really love the difference in that how he did it. It just looked so completely different than a springboard mm-hmm. drop kick doing it right in front of the dude. It was like, it looks so good. Um, uh, and he follows up with a plancha to the floor, brings Osprey back in. Marafuji hits the Kawada kicks Osprey's face, but Osprey gets the moonsault, like the run up the chest moonsault into the end. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, hits the hand that hand finally does hit his handspring flip kick. Osprey then hits the springboard forearm, but he only gets two. Osprey hits a hard chop. But Marafuji gets the back body drop, misses a kick, and Osprey hits the kick and sends Marafuji to the floor. Then he hits the sky twister off the top of the floor, looking like he like came down super hard on Marafuji. He did, yes. Yeah, Marafuji kind of like crumpled off of that. It looked, it looked, yeah. it made it, it made it look really good though. Oh yeah, yeah. Both of these guys, man, they, they the similarities. I mean, we talk about how Will Osprey sells all the time. You can tell how much Will Osprey is taken from Marafuji just by seeing these two wrestle together. Mm-hmm. Osprey gets the super kick on the floor, but he goes to jump off the bear, like go for like an os cutter off the barricade. He gets his legs swept out from under him, and he crashes like face first into the barricade. Then Marafuji comes hopping over the barricade, and then bulldogs Will Osprey into the barricade. Looked great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he sends Osprey into the post. Then he hits a, hits a hook kick. Around the post, I was just like, "Ooh, nice!" Uh, yeah, Osprey gets Marafuji. Uh, they go, they get back on the apron, but Osprey like fights back. It's Marafuji draped on the top rope, and Osprey goes up, hits a shooting star press to Marafuji, who's draped over the top rope. He gets a two count. The the announcers are going wild for this move. <laughs> uh, uh, then he then he hits kicks, hits a power bomb, but again only gets two. Mm-hmm. Osprey slams Marafuji, hits the springboard drop kick across the ring to Marafuji, who's on the mat. Um, they end up on the apron. Osprey tries to storm breaker on the apron, but Marafuji slips out, hits a hook kick, then goes and goes, runs like has him in the cutter, runs up the the turnbuckles on the apron, hits slice bread number two onto the apron, and both men go tumbling to the floor. <sighs> That was just that. That one also concerned me. That one looked rough. Yeah, like, so well I, done, but so rough. Yeah, both men looked like they took a brunt in that one. Man, that looked yeah, yeah. Very much um, so. As as, as Marafuji gets back in, Osprey slides in, and this is where Marafuji hits the springboard drop kick to Osprey, who's on the mat. Deuce and Osprey's move right there, mm-hmm. uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, they trade strikes in the center, then they start doing very hard chops to each other. They grab each other's wrists and just start exchanging chops. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Osprey is showing it worse for wear. Like you could tell he's like, like Marafuji's are, are a lot stronger. Osprey misses a kick. Uh, Marafuji hits the hook kick, but Osprey gets a half and half suplex. Uh, Osprey does a backflip that like does that backflip into the power bomb. But Marafuji turns the power bomb into a cutter, which looked mm-hmm. great, but he can only get a two count. Uh, Marafuji hits this, another slice bread number two, but Osprey comes right back and smashes him in the face with a hidden blade. Uh, 
Osprey finally gets up, hits that that court like tornado spinning down kick that he does, and mm-hmm. then hits the os cutter. But Marafuji kicks out at like two point nine. Uh, Osprey goes to the top rope, but Marafuji headbutts him, comes to the top. More headbutts, and Marafuji hits a Spanish fly to Osprey off the top, but Osprey kicks out at 2.9. Osprey stops a suplex, uh, hits the hook kick, then the Tiger Bomb, but Marafuji kicks out at 1. Because he didn't do the Tiger Driver, he did the Tiger Bomb. Because he usually the Tiger Driver, he's like drums with down almost on their head. This one was like a full rotation powerbomb, mm-hmm. Tiger mm-hmm. Driver powerbomb. So again, not as rough. Um... Um, where was I? I lost my place. Oh, there. Um, they exchange more strikes. Osprey hits some couple rolling elbows. Then Marafuji hits a kick to stop the hit. Like as as like he's coming in for the hidden blade, he just says it's like like run like jumps up and kicks Osprey in the face. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it was like an attempt at a shining wizard or what it was, but it, yeah. Yeah, I always get that one in the end. Grease confused. Well, so I'm it, not the one to ask. <laughs> well, even the way the move was done, I wasn't sure if it was an Insiguri or if it was like a shine going for a shining wizard because they kept cutting to Mudo at ringside on the Japanese commentary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Osprey hits head buzz, but then so does Marafuji, and he hits the knee to Osprey's head. It looked rough. <laughs> then hits this like. Tiger spit like went for a tiger door, but lifted up and just spun him out. Uh, they're saying it's a variation of Stormbreaker, but it very much was not. Um, it, it really wasn't. Uh, he didn't even get him up on his shoulder. Uh, they each reverse, they each do a bunch of couple reversals. Osprey hits a knee to Marifuji's head. Marifuji then hits a knee strike to Osprey's head, hits the hook kick, but Osprey hits the hidden blade to the face, then another one to the back of the head, but he can only get two. Osprey then picks up Naruchi Marafuji, lifts him up, Stormbreaker, and Will Osprey gets the one, the two, and then the three. Goddamn. In 23 minutes and three seconds, Will Osprey defeats Naruchi Marafuji in, in his 25th anniversary match. Holy shit, this was good. Yeah. This was. It was, I'm not gonna lie, a little exhausting for me. There was so much going on that, like, I couldn't really take notes. I'm just like, I would be pausing every couple of seconds just to write down things. So I was just like, we're just enjoying this ride. We're just mm-hmm. we, and it was a we. It was a lot of we. It was a lot of we, 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 <laughs> all the way home. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this, I mean, commentary was certainly weeing all uh, all for us, too. Um, mm-hmm. There was there, the only point that I couldn't understand what was say, being said on English commentary um, was the point where you said that the commentary was losing their minds. I mm-hmm. couldn't understand. I was like, did he just slip into Gaelic there? I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the commentary also really helped add to the match also. Like, the match itself... Already super, super exciting. But having the commentary guys getting excited with you and then the crowd also being able to talk again and cheer again and boo again. It was just such a a combination. It was such a great experience to watch and a great time to watch. Um, Yeah, I I don't have a whole ton to add to this. Like I've I've been aware of Marafuji's career a hot minute. Like 25 years and be hard pressed to not know who the guy is. Um, Will Ospreay, though, I mean, you can really, as I mentioned already, see how much he's taken from the career of Marafuji. And and I'll almost say, like, added upon it, improved upon it a little bit. Um, yeah. What a what a high speed match, but what an incredible strong style match to see. Yeah, again, it was an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal mm-hmm. show. Yeah, yeah. Good times, good fun. And Mar Fuji, man, he can still move. 25 years career. I, I don't know if I believe it. How are your knees still working? How yeah, can you I, still walk? Yeah, it was it was incredible, man. Like just absolutely phenomenal. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. These guys were just like 
both these guys went all out in this, and it was mm-hmm. just absolutely tremendous. Because again, both these guys doing what they do best, and I just I love seeing and like Osprey campaign to get this match. He wanted it so badly because this is one of the men that really, again, this is one of the men that inspired him to be, to be mm-hmm. a professional wrestler. Mm-hmm. So like it, it's absolutely true. It was absolutely tremendous, man. Mm-hmm. But I gotta give a big before we get before I talk to the uh, the undercard. Uh, Rio Oiwa was on this card. Yes, yes, because isn't he on excursion now with Kaido Kimia? Yes, he was. Uh, he actually was on the undercard. Uh, t- he defeated Junta Miya- Miyawaki. So, yeah. Am I looking at the- right. Yeah, he beat Junta Miyawaki. And then he would go on to the fall uh, this, this past weekend on the 23rd, I think, or 24th. He actually got a uh, uh, winning a six man tag match, too. Oh. Well, maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more on our uh, stuff that we're going to be doing with OLE there. It's very possible that I might bring yeah. that up because, again, there's a bunch of stuff that I want, I would like to highlight from the, that big uh, Noah uh, grand, grand, ship, grand Ship show that I'd like to bring on our recap show over on OLE coming, coming to OLE Four very, shizzle. very soon. For Shizzle. Oh, shizzle. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, again, we I told you this is a special edition, short but sweet. We just wanted to talk about this awesome main event from the from this from the Nermuchi Mar- Marafuji uh, anniversary show. Keeping it short, keeping it under, keeping it under twenty minutes this week, or around mm-hmm. twenty minutes by the time we finish. Keeping it round. Melball. Keeping it Melball. Uh, you can find this guy. I want to. Th- before I do that, I want to thank all of you. We really do appreciate you even tuning in for this uh, little, little quick little uh, episode, just talking this awesome match that we got to watch. Uh, thank you all for joining us here. We do really appreciate all the comments you, you drop down below, all the likes you give the channel, all this. And when you subscribe to the channel, we really, really, we really appreciate helping us grow. We really do. Um, mm-hmm. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. Hello. <laughs> and you can find this guy, me. The, the the man the myth Ooh. the legend, this guy, Ooh. the the Ooh. AC the AC. <laughs> <laughs> I can find me on X Master on Blue Sky and Hive at that Canada guy, TikTok, Instagram, and Da Threads at that Canada dude. You can find me on Facebook at our Facebook page at Andre Melball Wrestling Talk. Or you can reach out to me there. You can also check me out whenever I pop up and appear on random shit that I that happens over on OLE. Me, I give me about talking about it. We're going to be doing hopefully in the next little while uh, starting to drop a weekly uh, recap show over there on OLE and maybe even simulcast, maybe even drop it on our channel too. Just a quick quick a quick wrap up of everything that's happened in the week of, of mm-hmm. Japanese professional wrestling. Yes. Hopefully yes, get queen. that out soon. Yeah. And then also don't forget to go check out our, our boy, our friend, our our partner in crime mike the ref over on his channel youtube.com slash app back for video you might be watching us there now if you are please go check out our channel and give us a subscribe and also make sure you subscribe to backbreaker video if you want to see all of mike's live content go to twitch.tv slash mike the ref we can see him playing video games doing his AEW watch longs all that great stuff over there and if you want to see the recaps of that all the recaps of his gaming stuff you can go over to youtube.com slash app backbreaker underscore gaming where you can find all of the that his stuff there you can find him mr pjc mr rick jules and miss kayla j kayla j they're Love freaking kayla j. yes you do she's so yeah. nice and she's got such cute puppies there you go there you go i Melba. am referring to dogs my goodness people i am referring to dogs well this is wrestling so <laughs> well, where can they find you if you're wanting to find a Melball, you can find her on the X thing at Collins Melball. You can find her on everything else. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, and Blue Sky at Melball Collins. You can also catch me on our local establishments programming, Bear Rum Mindful. We got Alex the Werewolf putting out another EVP next week. I don't know what it's about. It's a secret. We're going to find out together. That's going to be the, the journey and fun of it all. You can also catch me on Astro Pizarro's YouTube channel where we do our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase. We're going to be doing a show this Friday, talking about all the crazy-ish that's been going on within women's professional wrestling. Because let me tell you, it's been a lot. Been a lot over the last little bit, you guys. Got to talk about it. 
That also being said, if you want to watch the, is it the show? This show is on. I'll go. I'll do this one. This yeah. is on. This is on Pro Wrestling Noah slash DDT slash Tokyo Joshi Pro. All that parent company, Cyber Agents, uh, streaming service, Wrestle Dash Universe dot com. If you want to check that out again, it is Wrestle Dash universe.com and if you sign up for them you get pro you know you get ddt you get tokyo joshi pro and a few others there's a there's a few companies over there at wrestling universe so please check there it's a it's a really cool uh thing to sh- promotion to show off a lot of great Ooh. professional wrestling if you're you're yeah you know. well andre and Melbourne may just have to check that out as well yeah <laughs> it, 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 it could be cool. It could be cool. It could be cool. Yeah. That being said, my friend, my trusted friend and colleague, do you have anything else to say to the beautiful people? I just want to say thank you for all the great support you've given us. And that being said, I am your Melba. Over there is Andre. We will see you next time. Adios.